Hello and welcome to Celebrity Trends. If it's your first time, please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell for more amazing news on your favorite celebrities. The new desperate measure of Meghan and Harry, a new film is released after their departure from Sussex. They need money. Hello everyone. Meghan and Harry are facing crazy rumors about a possible unthinkable television series. And now, welcome to Kate Middleton and the Queen's YouTube channel. Well, friends, I think it's time to ask the question, how many pairs of underwear does he have? This weekend, we saw Harry, the ex-royal and failed podcast producer, attending the Formula One Grand Prix in Austin, Texas, where he seemed to be having a good time watching screens with some friends dressed in polo shirts and straps to prove their right to be there, watching the cars race around the track. Of course, I hesitated to mention Harry's underwear, fearing to awaken disturbing images in your mind, but for those who follow, this little trip to Texas is the third getaway Harry has enjoyed in just over a month. First, he was in Portugal, then on the island of Canoan with Meghan Markle, and now he's heading to Texas, which brings me to the question of how many pairs of socks and clean underwear he still owns. Despite the fact that Harry claims to love playing father to these two invisible children, he has taken two private jet flights in the past two days. He stayed on a Caribbean island where billionaires go to escape from millionaires and was apparently the guest of some of the giants of society at the Mercedes and Petronas Formula One Grand Prix. Harry is still a councillor of state and still fifth in line to the throne, but he acts like a run-of-the-mill Hollywood celebrity. What will be the final stage of his true Hollywood transformation? Well, maybe a starring appearance on The Kardashian Show, because there are so many rumors circulating that, so far, we have not been able to prove or refute that Harry and Meghan are actually considering making an appearance on The Kardashian Show. In other words, after less than four years of marriage, Harry and Meghan are ready to dive into reality television. Could we really be about to see two members of the British royal family go on television to pretend to be friends with the Kardashians in order to revive their declining careers? Is this really going to happen? Are Harry and Meghan really that desperate to do this? The most obvious question in all of this is why on earth Meghan and Harry are considering going down this vulgar path. Well, according to a friend of Harry's who spoke to the Daily Beast and Insider, Tom Sykes, and who maintains a friendship with William but no longer speaks to Harry, I think they fried their reputations by trying to make money, and that's the result. I personally think they will eventually do it or do something very similar. They've tried everything, and they are going to need money. You see, Harry and Meghan have tried everything, including writing books and producing content for Netflix, but nothing has really worked. Although the book, Together, became the best-selling non-fiction book of all time, two of the three Netflix shows were failures. Earlier this year, Spotify decided to sever ties with the couple for hypocrisy, and no other podcast platform wanted to deal with them until now. So maybe what's going to happen is that Harry and Meghan will soon make an appearance on the Kardashian reality show. Maybe that will help them revive their ruined careers. And maybe if they focus on one of the causes they claim to support, it can help improve their reputation with the public and make them look less hypocritical. But currently, the polls are not in favor of Meghan and Harry, and that seems to be a cause for concern for them. The fact that the Kardashians are interested in working with them could help give a boost to the Sussex brand. In recent months, Harry and Meghan have been very busy trying to conquer Hollywood and trying to become part of the influential Los Angeles scene. They live in one of the chicest zip codes in LA, have hired the services of one of Barack Obama's former bodyguards, Ari Emanuel of WME represents Meghan, and Harry has been seen repeatedly at the private clubs and vinyl bungalows, which according to The Telegraph, is one of Harry's favorite places. When you consider that just five years ago, in 2018, Harry and Meghan were a young couple known to the royal family who had charmed so many people during their official tour of Australia, this is truly shocking. At that time, it was thought that Meghan and Harry were the future of the royal family and that there was only good to come from their relationship with the monarchy. But now, things have changed dramatically. It seems that Harry's Hollywood transformation is finally complete. Thanks for watching. Till next time on Celebrity Trends.